Hey gang, a bunch of you have already been asking me about what I eat for breakfast as part of my nutrition regimen, so I just want to kind of give you what my go-to breakfast is. Um, my go-to breakfast is, is oatmeal for the most part. Um, sometimes I'll eat uh, muesli, which you can get uh, in most grocery stores. Um, this is actually a gluten-free muesli, so it doesn't have uh, the wheat in it, but um, most of the time my go-to meal is just very simple, old-fashioned oats. Um, I'll take and use uh, either almond milk or skim milk. If I'm out of skim milk, I'll use almond milk with it. But I'll also take about a, a teaspoon or so of chia seed and a teaspoon or so of flaxseed. Uh, um, this is ground flaxseed. You can get these, and you can see they're made by Spectrum, so they're, you can get them in any kind of a, uh, an aisle where you get vitamins or whatnot, but you can get them in other places too, in most of the whole food stores and those kinds of places. Uh, just a little bit of honey to sweeten it. And then if it's a recovery meal, um, I, I'll usually do a little bit of peanut butter to get some additional protein out of it. If it's not a recovery meal, if it's just my first meal of the day, I'll skip the, the, uh, the peanut butter just to have uh, a, fewer, uh, a few fewer calories. Um, what I start off with is I'll just take the regular, and these are not the instant oats. These are just the old-fashioned oats, as you can see. They're just the old-fashioned kind. And I'll take and do about a third cup of those, you know, give or take a little bit. I'm not real precise with my measurements, but I'll take about a third cup of those, put them in a bowl, put about a half a cup or so of almond milk. Um, if I'm out of almond milk, I'll use skim milk. And then I'll stick it in the microwave for two minutes to two minutes and 15 seconds. I usually try to keep it from boiling over, but that's about how long I'll, I'll let it uh, go in the microwave. And I didn't want you to have to deal with a whole bunch of buzzing so I've done that already. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull it out. And it's been sitting in the microwave just long enough for uh, us to do the video. So you can see it's already started to soak up some of the milk. So I'll put it in the microwave for about two minutes to two minute, minutes and 15 seconds. And then I'll usually let it sit for a couple minutes to kind of soak up the, uh, the almond milk or the skim milk. I'll just stick that in my bowl. Um, sometimes I'll put the chia seed and whatnot in my bowl first. Sometimes I'll put it in a second. As you can see, I, I'm real precise for my measurement there. So that's a, you know about a half teaspoon to a teaspoon, just a little bit for some crunch. Uh, and you're, what you're going to get out of the chia seed and the flax, brown flax meal, is you're going to get the omega threes and fatty acids, um, and you'll also get some fiber out of it. So, and then just a little bit of honey to, uh, to sweeten it. Um, be careful of, of the honey that you buy. Make sure that you're getting a local honey. Some of the honey that comes from overseas is uh, very, very highly filtered, and so they get a lot of the pollen and stuff out of it that's uh, actually beneficial. Um, this is going to be a recovery meal for me. This is We're recording this at night, but it's going to be a recovery meal that I'm going to use in the morning. So I'm going to put about a, you know, about a tablespoon of uh, peanut butter in it. And I'm just going to let it sit like that. I'll stir it in the morning. And since we're making this at night and I'm going to swim in the morning, I'm just going to stick that right in the fridge just like that and let it sit overnight. Uh, when I get up in the morning, it'll have soaked up together, and I'll just stir it once in the morning before I eat it. Um, and there is a microwave at the pool, so I'll stick it in the microwave before I leave the pool. But that's my prefixed, ready-to-go recovery meal breakfast. Have a good day.